Okay, we're going to have a look at how to set up XAMPP as our web server and combine it with uh, Dreamweaver and set up the sites appropriately. We'd like the web data to be stored in its own folder and we would like it to be actually backed up by OneDrive so we'll have to move it to a new location. <coughs> Let's first check that OneDrive is doing the right thing. So you should either have a, a blue cloud down there. The white cloud's a personal OneDrive, so you can leave that alone. If it's not down there, you may have to, you may have to click a uh, little up arrow there and find it in there here, all right? So I'm gonna click on this. Inside here, we've got more and inside here we've got settings. The key thing that needs to be have been set up already is in backup. Manage backup. And hopefully you see, especially for documents, that it says you've got the choice to stop backup. More importantly, files backed up, so the documents folder is being backed up. If not, you have to push a button down here to say start that process. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Need to install XAMPP. Once you've installed XAMPP, do pin it. I'm just right clicking there. Make sure you've pinned it down the bottom here so you can find it easily. Let's start XAMPP, so fire it up. The only thing we need to run is Apache. The others don't need to be running. And you want to see that it has two ports open, 80 and 443. Alright, that's now running. So we can now test it. Let's just see, without it having done anything, if it is working. So if it's working, we now have a local host. Website, and if I click local host and press enter, I should end up being at the exam site. <clears throat> okay, that's a good start. Let's have a look at our folder structure. So inside your documents folder, I want you to make a my web data. So I want you to use new folder. If you can't see that, then it's because if yours looks like this, that's because you haven't double clicked on home and locked down the ribbon. <coughs> so as long as you and that means now the ribbon's actually locked down for everything. <coughs> you can double click again to get rid of it. We want inside our documents folder, we want a new folder. We're going to call it my web data. And I'd like you all to call it the same thing. All right, that's a folder which is an empty folder at the moment. Just for testing purposes, I'd like you to open up that folder. So just to double click on the folder. You need to make in there a new folder. And that needs to be a folder based on the subject that you're doing. So if you're doing web development, let's make a folder called web dev. All right. Some of you may also be doing Software development, so we'd make a folder called soft dev. Or you might be doing uh, unit one and two computing, so let's make a folder called computing. All right, so you'd have folders inside there. You probably only have one, but you just need to put the correct folder in there. Alright, so my web data is the root directory for all of our web development materials. So it's going to be the very top of the tree. <coughs> what we therefore need to do is I need this path exactly as it is. 
So to do that, I need to click up here, actually decided. These drop downs are very nice, but I actually want the path, which looks like this. And yes, it's quite long because it goes users, my username, goes to the college's OneDrive, goes to the documents folder, goes to my web data. Notice it's all colored in blue. I'm just going to do a control C. I'm going to copy that. We'll need that a bit later. But I've copied that. Just make sure you don't copy anything in between. Otherwise, you can just come back here and do the same thing. So the idea is click up here, actually inside this area here, and then do a control C. All right, let's go to exam and let's configure it. So up here I have config. And I'm going to click on config. And at the very top one there, it's the httpd.conf. It's the Apache config I want. And that will open up in Notepad. What we need to do is we need to find in there something called document root. So we're going to use find. We're going to find document root. Document root means the very top of the top of the tree. Yes, I know that seems a little backwards in terms of tree, but the document root is the very beginning, if you like. Now the things we need to change <coughs> at this stage it's going inside the XAMP folder and it's going inside the XAMP folder here. We need to change both of those. So I'm going to carefully take out what's there and press delete. Notice that the quotes are still there. There's still a double quote, double quote, and I'm going to do a control V to paste in <coughs> what I just copied before. Because this is Linux based, all those slashes are the wrong way around. We need to change the direction of the slashes. You'll find the slash you want over on the right hand side underneath the question mark. So we need to backspace it out, put one of those in. And again, backspace it out, put one of those in, and all the way through the whole thing. All right, now that we've got all the slashes the right way. We'll copy this one. So again, I've colored it all in. I haven't included the quotes. Control C, and we're going to put it down here. Control V. So that's our new configuration, and we've changed where the very beginning, the document root, the top of the uh, folder structure, for where our web server is going to get all its information from. And of course, file save. And we can now close that down. <coughs> we need to stop XAMP and then start it up again. So it's going to load the new configuration. If you've made no mistakes, it'll still load. If you've made mistakes, it probably won't load. You'll need to go back very carefully and look what you've done. <coughs> I'm going to close Chrome down completely, open up again, and type in localhost. And if we've got that right, all we should see now is those folders we just built. <coughs> so you probably only see one, but you might see all three, depending on what you put in there. <coughs> all right, we now have to educate um, Dreamweaver as to where to find everything. So here we are in Dreamweaver, and in Dreamweaver we need to set up a site. So we need to make a new site, and we're going to give this a name. The name ought to be the name that fits the subject, so let's, let's do web dev. So I'm going to title my site Web Dev just so I know what it is. I need to find the site folder. So I'm going to click on here and browse. 
and that's taken me at this stage to my documents folder if it hasn't you'll have to click through so it does and I need to come down here to my web data and because I've said web dev I've got to double click here so I'm opening up the, all the way through to the web dev folder here and I'm going to and I'm going to select this folder right. that's taken us all the way through and that's the, the start of any work that I do in this all right we also need to set up a server so over here to servers and down here to the plus sign because we need to add a server and again we can call it web dev and that server is going to be local slash or network it's actually local so we need to change that to being local and the server folder again click for searching you probably find that it's already giving you the right spot if not you'll have to search through and make sure it is we say select folder and the URL for our server is local host forward slash that's the one underneath the question mark in this case web dev obviously if you pick another subject you pick another folder name all right and we can save that this needs to be set up as a testing service i'm going to change that dot across to testing all right and we can save that So over here I have choices. So over here I'm in the standard sort of configuration. Over here I have choices. If I drop that, that down, I've got all these other choices, but the only one I want is this one, web dev. And at this stage there's nothing in our site. So let's temporarily just let's build it the simplest possible uh, web page to put inside there just to make sure that our web server is going to find it. So file new. We'll make this as a HTML page. Create. Alright, in terms of in terms of Dreamweaver, I know lots of people like live. I would prefer design mode. So my first website. Not very exciting. And we need to do a file. Save as. Notice it should automatically pick for you your web dev folder. And we'll call this first. And save. Okay. We can go back to our. Yes, I'm sure it's all very exciting. Leave me alone. Alright, so that's my first website. We've saved it. You can see now it appears over here. Please note in using Dreamweaver, don't do file open. Otherwise, you might open things that are outside the site and they won't work. The files must be inside the site. Sure, there may be a folder inside the site you have to open up, but they should always, always be in here. Never try and open up something that isn't in this area here. Okay? Your files must be here and that's the only place you go to open them all right if we're going to test this now what we need to do is right up here on the tab that names the file right click down the bottom is open in browser 
and we're going to pick Google Chrome and of all as well there it is it should open up in Google Chrome there's my first website and also importantly to note that this is coming from a local host webdevfirst.html obviously if you're a big soft developer using this will be slightly different so that means the web server is doing what it should do